Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll talk about trigonometry. This is actually a topic for ad maths or uh, pure maths or further pure maths. Uh, it's not uh, maths D or maths B's trigonometry. It's a little advanced than that. Uh, but first of all, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics where we learn about or we study about the relationship between the side and angle of a triangle, given triangle. Um, I'm gonna start with a right angle triangle. It's, it doesn't necessarily has to be a right angle triangle, but to begin with, we're gonna have this right angle triangle and that's the right angle over here, A, B, C. And I hope you know that opposite sides of an angle is usually represented by the small letter of that, that letter's smaller case, let's say capital A, so this is the angle, capital A angle, and its opposite side represent by small a. This B, small b, represent the opposite side, C, small c. Now, by the Pythagoras theorem, okay, Pythagorean theorem, we know that hypo square, that means B square, equal to A square plus C square. What this actually telling me, that hypo, hypo square of a right angle triangle equal to sum of other two sides squares. Okay, that's by Pythagorean. Okay, this is, you already know. We're gonna use that in a second, okay? Now think about this is a theta. This angle is theta. If this is theta and this is 90 degree, this angle is gonna be 90 degree minus theta. 90 degree minus theta, okay? 90 degree minus theta, why? Think about this, this to be alpha. Okay, let's this one take as an alpha. So according to the sum, summation of the three angles of a triangle, alpha plus theta plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree. Okay, so this alpha equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta, and that gives me 90 minus theta. So this alpha is nothing but 90 minus theta, okay? I hope you can see that this is, or I can write down this again, 90 degree minus theta, okay? Now, uh, another thing we need to know, this is a mnemonic, so ka toa, okay? This stands for, S stands for sine, Okay, and of course sine theta over here, if we are talking about this angle, sine theta equal to oppo by hypo. Okay, that's oppo by hypo. We remember uh, with their first letter, S-O-H, so, that's mnemonic, okay. For this one, ka, it's cos theta equal to adjacent over hypo. Ka, C-A-H. And this one, toa, that means tan theta, tan theta equal to oppo over adjacent. In this case, you can see that in these two cases, I have hypotenuse, but over here hypotenuse is missing. This is just an example of how you remember things, okay? This is called mnemonic, how to remember this thing. Sine theta equal to opposite, if this theta, then it's opposite over hypotenuse, and cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta is oppo over adjacent, okay? I'm gonna write down this over here, okay? Tan, uh, let's go with the sine. Sine theta equal to, I'm going to use this, oppo over hypo, so C by B, C by B. Now cos theta, cos theta equal to, cos theta you can see that A by B, okay? Adjacent over hypo. Now tan theta equal to C by A or oppo over adjacent, oppo over adjacent, C by A. Okay, very good, we got that. Okay, so trigonometry is the study of the relationship between the angle and the sides of the triangle. See that sine theta, we can represent this sine theta with the ratio of two sides. Cos theta can be repress, uh, represent as the ratio of another two sides and tan theta with another two sides, okay? Now, over here, what can I do? Uh, I want to explore this information, the information I got, okay? 
what if I do sine theta sine theta over cos theta now sine theta I have C by B and then cos theta I have A by B I hope you know the fraction how to calculate this fraction C by B times then B goes in the numerator A comes in the denominator B by A and if I cross this B B then I end up with C by A and C by A is nothing but tan theta from here I can see that sine theta by cos theta is tan theta so I I write down another formula tan theta equal to sine theta by cos theta so that's one of the formula that will come really handy in trigonometry now I want to explore a little bit more okay I was taking this one sine theta sine cos theta tan theta now I'm gonna use this sine alpha now sine alpha is going to be again oppo by hypo but whenever I'm taking this angle sine alpha is nothing but sine see that alpha alpha is 90 minus theta so it's gonna be 90 minus theta and that's gonna be oppo by hypo now its opposite side is BC that represents by small letter a so that's gonna be a by B okay now sine sorry cos alpha is gonna be written as cos 90 minus theta and that's gonna be cos 90 minus theta is gonna be C by B C by B okay now what is tan theta T uh, sorry tan alpha tan alpha is gonna be tan 90 minus theta alpha is replaced by 90 minus theta and that's gonna be tan this one a by C a by C now very interesting thing is gonna unfold in front of your eyes you can see that sine theta equal to C by B cos alpha that means cos 90 minus theta is also C by B these two are having these two angles are having same ratio C by B from here we can write down sine theta equal to cos 90 minus theta so we got one of the formula some of you probably already noticed that cos theta equal to a by b sine 90 minus theta a by b so these two are equal so we can write down cos theta equal to sine 90 minus theta okay and what about here it's interesting c by a this is a by c and so i can say that tan alpha tan alpha or 90 minus theta can be written as 1 by this can be written as 1 by c over a now c over a is nothing but 1 by tan theta so reciprocal these two are reciprocal and we represent that by cot theta this is another ratio cotangent cot theta and uh, in my next video I'll talk about uh, yeah, reciprocal of sine theta and cos theta but right now I'm just gonna show you tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta so cot theta equal to tan 90 minus theta so that's another set of formula that's gonna come handy observe this thing this theta and this 90 minus theta sum of these two theta plus 90 minus theta cancel out so that equals to 90 degrees same thing with this theta with this theta plus 90 minus theta that gives you 90 and theta 90 minus theta that gives you 90 and these two are complementary angles so when we have complementary angles such as this one theta may be 30 degree if theta 30 and over here 90 minus 30 is 60 sine 30 equal to cos 60 let me write down that sine 30 
I'm going to put theta equal to 30. Then cos 90 minus 30 is going to be 60 degree. And these two are complementary angles. Complementary means sum of two angles equal to 90 degree. Same thing cos, if, if, if we take this theta in this case, theta to be 50. So cos 50 equal to over here 90 minus 50. I'm going to get, let me use the different color over here. 90 minus 50 going to give me 40. So cos, uh, sorry, that's going to be sine, sine 40 degree, 40 degree. And this 40 and 50 equal to 90 degree. And that is complementary angles again. So from this video, from this uh, lecture, you need to know that I'm going to use this Pythagoras theorem in my uh, next video. And uh, right now you have seen that uh, sine theta by cos theta equal to tan theta and then reciprocal of tan theta equal to cot theta and sine theta equal to cos 90 minus theta, cos theta equal to sine 90 minus theta, cot theta equal to tan 90 minus theta. These are complementary angles. In my next video, I'll show you supplementary angles and other angles, uh, some uh, trigonometrical identities. Okay, see you in my next video. Take care. Have a good day.